Diane, 11.30 a.m., February 24th. Entering the town of Twin Peaks. It's five miles south of the Canadian border, 12 miles west of the state line. I've never seen so many trees in my life. Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's tutorial. We will be crocheting a blanket based off of the iconic Red Room from Twin Peaks, a classic early 90s crime drama series directed by David Lynch. This pattern is a one row repeat using double crochet in the chevron stitch. You'll see that you can easily change the size of the blanket you want to make in this tutorial. It's a fairly simple pattern and perfect to crochet while watching the show. So grab your damn fine cup of coffee, hit that like and subscribe button, and let's get started. You will be needing two skeins of Karen's one pound yarn or something similar. I used the color Scarlet and had about half of the second skein left over. The black and white yarn can be taken from your stash and works as a great stash buster if you have enough. But if you don't, buying one skein of a weight four acrylic yarn that has at least 200 yards should put you in a good place. Bright white or off white is fine. It's really a personal preference. I used Erin by Loops and Threads Impeccable Yarn from Michaels just to give it a slight antiqued look. These are the two hooks that I will be using. So doing the initial chain, I will be using a five and a half millimeter hook. This is just because the foundation chain tends to be a little bit tighter than the rest of the project. And I found that this is a really good trick for making sure that tension stays consistent throughout. So this five and a half millimeter hook is just for the foundation. And then the rest of the project, we will be using the five millimeter. To start this blanket, what we're going to do is chain a multiple of 27 and then add five to it. Each grouping of 27 counts as one of the zigzags. So I am either going to do 108 or 135. I'm not sure how big I want it to be yet. So I'm going to just start my foundation chain there and I will let you know what I actually ended up doing. Again, this is with the five and a half millimeter hook just for the foundation. So I ended up doing a multiple of five, so 27 times five is 135 chains. It's roughly 36 inches or three feet. So now what I'm going to do is add the additional five chains. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna pull this a little bit and switch over to my five millimeter now that we are going to start our first row. So now I have a total of 140 chains after an initial uh, chain of 135. Now what we're going to do is skip this first stitch and double crochet into the next two right here. So you're gonna yarn over, skip, one and two after you have your first two stitches here you must skip the next one so skip this stitch and we're going to do 12 double crochets in the next uh, 12 stitches after that so skip this one and do your 12 Now we are going to do the peak. So what you do in this next stitch after your 12 is three double crochets right here. So we're increasing. One, two, and three. So we're gonna start to get that uh, increased peak look over here. After you make your peak, we're going to basically repeat what we just did and do 12 double crochets in the next 12 stitches. So as you can see here, we have our first peak and now to start to go back up again, what we are going to do is skip the next 
two stitches and start another line of 12. So skip these two and do another 12, double crochet. I think you can see how we're starting to get this shaping. After you do your next 12 stitches and double crochet, we are going to continue like we did before and do three double crochet in the next stitch. So just repeat this and I will meet you at the end. Feel free to pause, go back, make the video slower so you can understand better. But I will meet you at the end where we can finish off this first row and continue the rest of it. I am now at the end of the row. You should have three remaining stitches. And just like the beginning over here, what we are going to do is instead of skipping two, skip one stitch and double crochet into the last two. I'll skip this. One. two. This is a one row repeat pattern. So you are just going to do this entire thing over and over again until you have reached your blankets desired length. So to start the second row, we're going to chain two, turn our work and double crochet into those first two stitches. Skip your next stitch and we just continue doing the 12 double crochet, three into one stitch, 12 down again and skip two. Just repeat this until you get to your desired length and I will count and meet you guys back to when I am done with this red portion. I decided to go up to 60 rows for this. Uh, this is definitely a project that's great for long car rides. Um, it took me a little bit of time but we made it, we are at our 60 row count and we are now going to start to change the color. So I have worked up to the last stitch here and I'm going to now go to white. Because this is 60 rows of the red, uh, I think I'm going to do three rows of the black and white, just alternating between both. To change our color, we're going to work up to the very last stitch See, this is unworked. Yarn over, go into the last stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over once, and instead of pulling through again, we are going to take the white that we have, yarn over, pull through, and here we have our first color change. And we will be just continuing the rest of this blanket just like we've been doing. Uh, personally, like I said before, I am going to be doing three rows each of the colors. You can do, I'd say anywhere between three and five, depending on how long or large that you're making your blanket. But I guess I'll see you guys at the end for the final reveal. I ended up repeating the black and white section of this blanket eight times for a total of 24 rows. In addition, with the 60 rows of the red, we have a total of 84 rows for this blanket. The length of it falls just underneath five feet in length, and it is approximately 40 to 41 inches across. This makes it the perfect sized blanket to throw on your bed or curl up and read a book or watch Twin Peaks with. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. A version of this will be available as a written pattern, so keep an eye out for that in the description box below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye!